Welcome back to the YouTube channel guys, my name is Sam, this is Express Performance and today we're going to be tinting this Lexus IS300. I think I've got a couple other bits to do later on in the day. First off we've got to get this one done and we'll go from there. Might have some exciting news at the end of this video so stay tuned. So I've just heat shrunk the back window. If you want to see a full breakdown on how to heat shrink a back window, I'll leave the link up above. And click that link and that was yesterday's video and that'll give you a full tutorial on how to heat shrink a back window. Right, Lexus is now finished. So it's all done. Limo tint 5% all the way around. Makes that colour just stand right out. All I've got to do is just tidy up, just give away windows are clean inside and out, and then quickly hoover it because I've been climbing in and around the back, always around the front as well. And then that's this one done, we'll get this one out. So pulled the Lexus out, that's done. Just pulled this nice, really smart A3 in. So the Audi, we have to de-chrome the window surrounds. We've got to tint the windows in the 20% level tint, like a factory tint level. Also got to change the badges over de-chrome the front grille there's the badges the front one's not too bad it's just the back one I oh, use some fishing wire to get that off clean it all up give it a polish put the black gloss black ones on also birds have been at it needs a bit of a clean anyway now you can see I've just started taping up this other side just wanted to go over and give you a quick breakdown on what needs to be done on this one today.
Right, that's this side complete. All de-chromed, all in gloss black. Looking smart. Now, I'm gonna not film the other side. I'll show you the after for footage. So it's been an absolutely hectic afternoon on totally way behind i've only managed to get this bottom part done on the underside of the passenger window or the rear window and the up and over the other side's done as you can see in the mirror which you'd seen earlier on so behind i've had customers coming in telephone call after telephone call i'm gonna keep this video going until tomorrow and then i'll reveal my big news at the end of tomorrow's video no not tomorrow's video it'll be this video at the end of the video so stay tuned see you tomorrow morning back in got to finish the a3 finish the d-chrome and change the badges over and still to tint it I've got a little uh, a Persia or a Citroen like minivan thing in as well uh, mid midday. So then this will go out whatever stage it's at. Get that one in, tint that, and then get back on this one. Could be a busy day. Let's go. Sides are both now de-chromed. I'm gonna de-badge the back Audi badge now, and then. I'll spin it round and de-chrome the front grille and change the badge all at the same time and then hopefully by then my next vehicle will be here and then later on we'll get this back in to tint it. Tinting for me is the quickest part so that's why I'll save that, save that till the end. So there we have it guys, looking fresh. Right, so the D-badge is done, chromes are done, just the front to D-chrome, around the grill and change the badge and tint that's left to do on this one. Here we go, completely D-chromed, looking really, really mean now. And with the side D-chromed as well. different car I believe the customers getting the alloys resprayed as well black so it all will be all be black once it's finished right I'm gonna get this one out I've got a, a Citroen little Bolingo van to tint I'm gonna get that one done and then we'll get this one back and then get these windows tinted so I've got the Citroen in I just had to sort an eBay order out we actually sell all of our films on online and that as well so if you want, like we do sun strips and whatnot, I'll leave a link in the comments below uh, for that. So you, if you want to get your own and fit your own, then everything will be in the description below. So I've started the Bolingo, taken the two side windows out this side so far, tinted them, then I'll dry in. Now I'm just going to remove these ones, get them tinted. Once they're tinted, I'll then cut the holes. Because what it is on these, they got their opening windows, all of them. They got these little screws and the brackets, which I just got to cut around. It's just way easier to do these out of the vehicle than in the vehicle. So these two are tinted, as I was just showing you a minute ago. The other two are now done, which are resting down there. Just moving on to the back window. These are fairly straightforward. They're not that curved at all. They're pretty much flat. So that's the Citroen 
Berlingo completely pimped out now. It's got 5% limo tint all the way around now. Look at that. Looking really different. Gonna get the A3 back in to get that tinted now. So I've pulled the A3 back in. This is having 20% tint on it. Um, it's not having limo. So the back window's done. Installed. Just got the two side windows to do. Here's the Audi all finished. So the big news, I'm now able to do vehicle remapping. I've got all the gear, no idea. Um, and yeah, basically I've got the bad basic training on it. I'm gonna be doing it in videos because that are gonna be coming up soon. I'm only available to do stage one remaps at the moment, but I'm, you know, all learning. Everything's like completely new to me, not like the tint in the PPFs and the wrapping. It's all brand new. Um, just f f and hopefully you guys will follow me on the journey as I learn and teach myself how to do that. I'm using OLS Performance Maps. If you want any more information on that, the link will be in the description below. Those boys are awesome. Uh, shout out to Carlos and Ewan. Um, they'll help you out if you want to add remapping to your business to earn an extra um, revenue. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.